just as Indian villages have looked for ages. The red man set up housekeeping in America so long ago that he's the real American, and all whites are just immigrants. Horsemanship still flourishes among the more vigorous tribes. Prosperous reservation life and farming have won many an Indian over to the automobile, but not these chaps. They ride like warriors of old. Getting ready for a tribal council, where each man has his chance to talk, loud and plenty. For the Indian is not a silent, unsocial creature. He loves the council, and he loves all sorts of big doings. Every year, a dozen or more tribes of the Southwest gather at Albuquerque for a grand powwow. Here, the Hopis, the Navajos, the Zunis, the Apaches, the Utes, and others come to show their folk ways, their sports, their dances, and their handicrafts, a true pageant of the first American. Here's an Apache woman and her papoose. Another Apache with a young descendant of some fierce warrior, but he looks peaceful enough, doesn't he? 